We on YouTube. What's going on, guys? It's Iggy, MV5679. Get truth or die line. Welcome to the channel. Um, if you're new, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Um, if you subscribe today, I've seen your name. I've seen a couple people. Um, thank you for subscribing. You know, welcome to the squad. We squad up over here. We stick together. Um, everyone's opinion matters. Um, we try to, if we disagree, we try to, oh, you know what I mean? At the end of each suggestion, opinion, disagreement, come to an agreement at the end of every one. Yeah, if we agree to disagree, at least we're agreeing on something. So, um, I try not to judge people over here. Um, uh, if you've been in a live chat, you know what I'm saying? If you're new, check out a live chat, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, guys, I've been doing a lot of reading today. Um, you can see, trying to, um, figure stuff out here right now. I'm about to upload another video after this. This just came in. I figured I was going to get these two stories out real quick. Um, this one and another one. You gotta wait. <laughs> um, I'll surprise you with it. Anyway, um, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, however, I, 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 this is Iran rocket launch fields with satellite in orbit. I just figured it was something good to read. Quick video. And then I'm um, working on a video right now. A uh, whole separate one. It's probably going to be at least a half hour long. This next one, um, with some pretty, some pretty important news for you guys. Uh, so stay tuned for an another video coming in a little bit, and then I will probably go live again tonight. Um, uh, something may happen where I might not be able to, but we'll, it, it will probably be alright. Um, so hopefully you guys come tonight. Okay, so I ran. Rocket launch fills to put satellite into orbit. Iran attempted to put a satellite into orbit Tuesday but failed due to technical glitch on board, state media reported. The rocket launch successfully passed the first and second stages but malfunctioned in the third stage. The Iranian built satellite would have collected environmental data to improve the country's forecasting abilities. The satellite unfortunately failed to be placed in orbit in the final stage, said Minister of Information and Communication Technology, Mohammad Javed Azari Jaharomi. Iranian officials said another low-orbit satellite called Deuce-T will be launched next. This next, this time, with extra efforts, we are going to show the world that Deuce will be a success, Jaharomi said. Iran's first satellite was launched in 2009, and there have been others since then. Usually, in February, during the anniversary of 1979 Islamic Revolution, U.S. officials have, have said Iran's launch attempts violent and U.N. Security Council resolution because they use ballistic missile technology. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that, <laughs> said the satellite was actually the first stage of the intercontinental missile that violates international agreements. Iranian political commentator Jason Anruhi told state media the launches represent a clear message to the West. Hmm. The Western imperialist powers have attempted to hold back Iran, tried to withhold information, withhold technology, technology, withhold needed aid, and made countless attempts to sabotage the country. He said, You have not stopped us. We have continued to develop. We have continued to reach new high scientific achievements despite everything that you have done to sabotage us. In our development. So, with that said, guys, um, uh, as you may know, if you know me, I'm not big in the. Excuse me, I'm not big into mainstream. I don't really think it's real. I think there's a meaning behind all of it. Uh, but, however, I bring some of these stories because one, when I read them, I try to study. I try to find signs, uh, predictive programming, programming period, um, and, 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 and possibly future uh, attacks, anything that can manifest in the future. I try to figure it out. So, you know, I read it. You know, if there was something I missed, someone pointed out something. And I just think, honestly, it, it's something. This is this was something. When I read one, I just think it's something that we should know. You know, uh, whether their, their missile. Filled or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, flat out, it doesn't matter. They're playing, they're playing over their plane with shit. 
You know what I mean? And these people hate us. Guys, what's up? Iggy, Iggy here again. 6.2 p.m. It's, uh... Yeah, it's 6.23 p.m. It's January 15th, Tuesday still. <laughs> 2019. All right, I'm getting, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. So, what you're seeing about the Iran article, I just, I'm going to try to merge them all together. All right. Now, this just popped up too, so I'm going to try to merge them together. And then I'm going to do this other video about some serious shit. My whole attitude is going to be different. I'm smiling and all this and that. Yeah, I'm trying to forget. I got a lot of stuff going on. And I'm trying to, um, trying to take my mind off it, man. Uh, you know, my, 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 my I didn't know. I got a couple of buddies of mine got indicted by the feds the other day, and I uh, just on my mind. You know what I mean, they're gonna be gone for for a long time. You know, what I mean, probably possibly the rest of my life. I mean, I may never see them again on the street. So, you know, it's a little messed up over it. But and they're trying to get one of my best friends. So I don't know if he uh, he's getting picked up, but he's already in the county jail on a on a federal violation waiting for the fed because he violated them on federal parole and he might get indicted in a whole he did seven years already so he like came up missing down the county and they don't know where he went they said the feds came and got him so we're hoping they came and got him for a violation and not an indictment um so i like i've been doing with that today too Making phone calls and stuff. The jail don't never tell you nothing. They won't tell nobody nothing. There's such slime balls down there. But um, anyway, guys. So the gematria calculator's back up, right? Finally, it's back up. Yeah, I mean, um, that one dude that someone put me on to him, Hubert. I, I watch. I watch him here and there. I. It's hard for me to watch YouTube anymore, like because I'm doing my own thing. You know what I mean? And trying to answer people back and stuff. It's actually hard to watch other people. Like, it, it's hard to make that time now. Because I'm just doing my own thing. And I'm trying to answer all you guys' comments back. So. Anyway. Um. That ain't good. That ain't good what just happened. Uh. I just found this part on this site. This, this is so hard, dude. I'm getting ready to do it myself. And I click over on blogs, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna spin the camera around, and I end up finding this. About now, the dude that runs, all right, I'm gonna flip around, guys. Now, the dude that runs this website, okay, his name's Dave, right? And he's cool with this. He's definitely cool with this. So this ain't like no copyright restrictions. He's he's good with this. So you see, I'm on the Jamontri calculator, you see, and I click blogs right there. I was sitting here trying to figure out the Theresa May thing. This dude has it all set up. Like, this is sweet. So, guys, I could just go over this with you. I think it's awesome. So, everyone knows Future Reference if I ever use this website and I do it from this blog. I actually give the credit to Dave. Check his website out. His name is jamachacalculator.com. It's called jamachanator.com. Um, I mean, you can get every cipher. You get the words, and it is absolutely cool as hell. And I honestly believe that the, the they they go by this code. I believe they do. I, I do. I, I do. I mean, I know it's a lot of work. I, I just do. So, anyway, sorry. So, look, guys, today, Theresa May, the UK. Um, what what is she? She's 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 a UK. Hold on, I have it written down somewhere. I apologize. I should have this stuff more prepared, but I was working on another video. She's like the, some big lady in the UK. Where's my? She's UK leader Theresa May suffers defeat on withdrawal deal. Largest defeat. It's the largest defeat in UK history. Okay, and I noticed how they put two hundred and thirty votes. I just noticed numbers in it, so I'm like. Dude, this is, there's Jamantra's tied to this. Sure enough, I find this vlog on the Jamantra calculator. And there's also other, like, you can search events on here. Like, this thing is cool as hell. This dude is a beast at Jamantra, man. Like, he hooks it up. So, look, Theresa May Bexis deals goes down, Beck Brexit deals goes down in flames, okay? Now, British lawmakers crushed Theresa May Brexit deal by record, okay? The, it was by a whopping, the votes were 432 to 202. This vote occurred on January 15th. But today is January 15th. Now, 1 15. Okay, so that 115, of course. Um, 
15. And we're going to get to the numerology of it, okay? Now, Theresa May is 115. January 15th, Theresa May 115. She was born the year 56, 1956, and Theresa May is 56 in the reverse full reduction. Now, if you don't know Jamantra, like ours, it, English up here would be A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, so on and so forth. And then like the the reverse, I mean, you, obviously you know what the reverse full reduction means, but then there's like the one, it, I think it's the Jewish the, the Hebrew Jamatra would be like, say say you're on the 13th letter in the alphabet, you would just add 1 plus 3. You would do the numerology of the number in the alphabet rather than what the number is. And the numerology would mean, like, if it's 12, then it's 1 plus 2, okay? This, the 56 prime number is 263, okay? Remember, Theresa May was born in 1956, and her number, and her Jamatra number is 56, Brexit was initially approved on June 23rd, 2016, which was two years and six months, three weeks ago, okay? Wait a minute. Brexit was initially approved on June 23rd, 2016, which was two years, six months, and three weeks ago. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I thought that read it wrong. From Thursday, January 23rd, 2016 to Tuesday, January 15th, 2019 is... Two years, six months, three weeks. Two six three. The fifty six prime number is two six three, and three May's gematria comes to fifty six. I'm sorry, but this is not coincidence. This is the Masonic motto. Okay, Th this is what they do. Order out of chaos, guys. I'm telling you, just mark my words. Order out of chaos. Okay, I'm telling you. 2019 is going to be a chaotic year. No, you're not going to see the end of the world. You're not going to see martial law. Uh, no, I don't think the entire country is going to have lights out. No, that's not how they do it. That's never how they've done it, guys. Come on, guys. We, One, we're going to think positive. We're going to think the best, and we're going to stay positive. And anything happens, we're going to stick together. And that is how it's going to be, and that's how we're going to rock, period. But with that said, 2019, you know how to do what possible WAR may come, okay? That's what my next video is going to get into, okay? The stuff with Justin True last night, I'm going to get all into it. But guys, I'm just saying 2019 is going to be a chaotic year. Just pay attention to that. Remember that chaos. Remember when you see events happening. Just remember I said that because that's what that that's what these numbers tell us. Is 2019 is going to go down. And, you know, God forbid, I hope I'm wrong. But all I'm saying is it's not going to be the end of the world. We're not going to be having to hit six months and eat each other and all that bullshit. Ain't nothing like that going to happen. It's going to be how it's always been, but just ten times, well, a little bit worse, let's say, is what it's looking like. Not ten times worse. There's just going to be more events. Okay, order out of chaos is what they do. I just don't think there's going to be more slow in the end of the world and all that. Okay, so, you know what I mean? Hate me if you want because I think that. Fine. I'm trying to think positive. However, the numbers, which I believe in, match to the, the, the show 2019 and to, they their belief is god the, the way in their bible says god created the number with the letter with the word okay no my bad god merged god created the world by merging the number with the letter with the word i apologize i have a lot of things on my mind british lawmakers crushed theresa may brexit deal by record margin 20, 2603 satanic now, this was CNN's headline. On the date of the vote, Theresa May had been in office for a span of two years, six months, two, two years, six months, three. We know that was three days, but I wonder why he just says three. And guys, the news is like part of this, okay? So when they put these news stories out, they purposely go with numbers. Like, they will make a time. They will uh, critique a time of an event just so it equals to these numbers. You know what I'm saying? They won't if it, say 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 a bombing happened. They won't just do it at 3:33, but they'll they'll say it happened at 3:33. If you know what I'm saying, okay. And once again, from Wednesday, July 13th, 2016, to Tuesday, January 15th, 2019, is two years, six months, and three days. Just like on the date of the vote, Theresa May had been in office for a span of two years, six months, and three days. The same, dura the same duration is exactly 30 months and three days. Okay, from Wednesday, July 13, 2016 to 
today, Tuesday, January 5th, 2019, is 30 months and 3 days. This is crazy. Brexit is 33. 30 months, 3 days. Brexit, 33. England, 33. And we all know what 33 means. In the reverse order, Brexit turn, sums to 39. May, Theresa May, is also 39 in the uh, uh, English ordinal. I'll show you guys after this how there's different reduction of ciphers if you don't know, in case anyone's new to this. Today is 7 months, 13 days after the date of the Queen's coronation. Theresa May took office on 7-13. May. 431 in Jewish, the 83rd prime number. Queen Elizabeth II is eight months, three days after her birthday. Oh man, that is crazy, dude. That is crazy. The 83rd prime number. Queen Elizabeth is eight months and three days after her birthday. Dude, that is nuts. This is not a coincidence. 202 lawmakers voted for Theresa May's deal. The 200 sec prime the 200 second prime number is 1,231. Teresa Mary May, her full name in the Jewish cipher is 1,231. The bill filled with 432 votes against it. May 234 in the English Sumerian. Um, and that's with the same numbers just mixed. May is 106 days after her birthday. From Monday, October 1st, 2018 to today, Tuesday, January 15, 2019, is 106 days, and May is 100. May is 106 days after her birthday. Theresa May Brazier 100 is 106 single reduction. Brazier maybe. Theresa Mary May 73. Oh oh, I'm sorry. So May is 106 days after her birthday. My bad. Theresa Mary Brazier. 106 in a single reduction. That's her maiden name, by the way. Uh, now, Theresa Mary May is 73, current name. All right. Britain will be leaving the. Your what what is what's EU European EU on March 29th, which is 73 days after the vote. And Theresa Mary May 73. Keep in mind. From Tuesday, January 15, 2019, to today, or my bad, to Friday, March 29, 2019, is 73 days. Do, do, guys, do you see how much falls? There's no way this is accidental. This dude is a beast at this. I find it interesting that both perfect and number sum is 73. Perfect number is 73. The third perfect number is 496. Parliament, 496. And Brexit is 496. And if you look in the news article, they say how the, she tried to divorce from the Parliament. The Parliament is in there, and they denied it. And then Brexit, of course, is in there, in the, in the news articles. The 73rd day of the year is March 14th, or 314. Day of the year, March 14th. 73. Today, Theresa May is three months and 14 days after her birthday. From Monday, October 1st, 2018 till today, January 15th, 2019 is three months and 14 days. Ha! Huh. You, dude, I, it's not an accident, guys. It's not an accident, guys. Sorry about that. I just did something. Whoops. Guys, it is not an accident. I I do not. I I stop. I used to believe in coincidence. I used to be like, oh, well, that's a coincidence. I don't, I don't believe in it no more. Uh, ever since I started learning this number shit, especially ever since I started learning Jamancha, I really stopped believing in coincidence. I think everything happens for a reason. And when it comes to these creeps, I think everything is planned. I think they know all this stuff ahead of time. All this stuff that's hitting the mainstream, the wall, the government shutdown. Man, they're involved in everything. And you know what? You know what, guys? They think you're dumb enough to go with it. You hear me? They think you're stupid enough to believe them. Do you hear me now? All right? Now, when I get like that and start looking all goofy, that, don't worry. I'm on your side, and I got love for you. Whoever you are, I don't care if you like me. I don't care if you're laughing at me right now. I got love for you. And guess what? It's all love right now. And so you disrespect me to do some dumb shit to someone in my family. It's all love, baby. So what I'm trying to say is we got to stick together no matter what. And you got to wake up. If you ain't woke, get woke, okay? It The messages, the signs are everywhere. I mean, 
you know in the music industry how the Illuminati is always involved in the music industry and rappers, right? Well, there's rappers that don't want to do it. You understand what I'm saying? There's rappers that don't want to join the Illuminati. They, they might make enough, so much money, they're like, dude, you don't have a choice. I mean, I know you guys heard of shit. So, what I'm saying is, there's rappers that are like, nah, man, I don't want to. Like, I'm, I, like, I love God. You know what I mean? Like, they might be Christian, they might be Muslim, they might be whatever, but they don't want to worship with the devil, let's just say. Alright? They put messages in their music. You listen, to, listen to, uh, if you're into hip hop, man, there's messages in so many musicians' songs telling you that it ain't what we think it is. Nothing is what it seems. Alright? It's time to wake up if you ain't woke, man. I got another video to get to right now. You know what I mean? I'm putting in work. Let's get it. Let's go. It's Iggy MB5679. One love. I've seen a little bit. We'll go live later on, baby.